body. Um, I had been trying to get the federal government to help me get them out from the beginning. Um, and these people say they wanted me to uncover all their crimes and then blame me for it and murder me for it by calling me a Freemason. I don't believe that's legal. Nothing that they've done is legal. They say they're invincible to their crimes. These are the worst criminals ever in history in the White House and abroad. I think these people are worse criminals than any, any penitentiary anywhere in the country. They have committed every crime that they could think of. They use LaSalle and Pound. They wanted to ship me off sideways. LaSalle is a French word, right? And they use that with coup de tat, and they plan to violate me, sexually violate me in any way that they could think of, patriotically violate me and rape me. And my children, they plan to entrap us and torture us and abuse us for no reason. Um, they didn't. They plan not to use diplomacy because of the ambassador where, where the 3M Billy Wolf Trail is. The ambassador is a rehabilitation center, I believe. Or it used to be a nursing home, right? It says Subsecute on, the, on there. It's a 4400 address. Well, they had no intention to, you know, they just wanted to keep arguing with between them and Yellow Kim and Yellow Shannon and their communists to try to frame me for their abuses to my children when they had planned and plotted against them while I was sleeping. Everybody knows I woke up around 2008. Um, they purposely moved me back to my father's house because they wouldn't let me get a job. They only give me $721 a month for Social Security supplemental income because they purposely gave me post-traumatic stress disorder. And they wanted to entrap me here because of Barbara Eden. Eden Park is where the 3M marker bridge is, uh, Billy Wolf Trail, Eden Park, St. Barb's evidences, St. Barb's. The story of St. Barb's is a damsel in distress who kills her father. And entrapment using Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. Well, the Peterson Park is in Southwood, and the well is across the street. One of the wells is across the street here on High Street, right? So they expected me to kill my dad by means of entrapment because they wanted to use Larry Hagman sideways with my father. Um, to have him abuse me every day. As I said, he's been abusing me for two and a half years. Shannon Huber Bartusik and Kim Hedgelin Lassen, I believe, instruct him to do that via presidents. I believe presidents are involved in that. They know that they had plotted the murder of my father. They know I won't go back to a courthouse because Danny Boy, Dan Hedgelin and Southwood, Shannon, Danny Boy, the, you know, the Irish name, they're trying to lure for me, the evil stepsisters, to try to steal my identity, as now they're telling people in the public. As I said, they say that they want to use me as a pawn to tell the Department of Justice and all the other departments that they could commit any crime they wanted. They wanted to use my life for crime. And then they said they wanted to kill me for it in the name of Mary, Mother of God, or God, or NASA, or, or whatever, as I said. That's not legal. They can't label somebody as a Freemason and make them a target and victimize them to death. They said George sideways me with Queen Elizabeth because she's, I think, the 45th Queen. And Elizabeth Chase, okay? Elizabeth Chase and I guess the book, child bo child childhood book, uh, by Elizabeth Levy, something queer is going on around here perhaps. Um, because the, where the, where they interlock in is it matches the South Haven address, 4830 address, South Haven, where Rob grew up and now lives with, uh, Amber lives there and Sean Chase lives there. I, Autumn is with me most of the time. And, um, as I said, um... <laughs> I don't know what they do to her when she, they have her. She's over there once every week or, you know, it depends. Um, as I said, they are, Shannon and Kim have been in that home, South Haven home, abusing my kids. 
They are the yellow, supposed to be dominatrix. And I'm supposed to be the yellow submarine submissive virgin Mary, one to abuse, okay? They come in here and want to play the three little bears. Um, three little bears with their entrapment. Um, they've used devices to make all me and my kids sleep all the time. Hibernation sideways. Um, sideways with computers, I guess. Waking up us to nor nightmares, torture, abuses. You know, from hypnosis waking up. And then, um, now in my sleep they torture me. And, my, and I believe they torture my children as well. Um, I, some nights I observe Autumn, watch her in her sleep. She talks about bad dreams. She talks about weird pains. She acts weird. She acts weird sometimes. She'll go hide under a blanket as if she's playing ghost or whatever else. Okay, her behavior's not normal. Um, and I can't do a whole lot about it. Um, but I try to. Um, it's very hard dealing with the pain. And I've been, as I said, for the past week, I've been sleeping a lot. Me and her, she, they do the same thing to her. She'll sleep when I sleep. Um, it, it's like a sound frequency thing. It'll put you to sleep. It's a certain sound frequency. It's uh, sound torture. And then they, you, then there's a pins and needles feeling of torture, <laughs> which I believe they they correlated anatomical dolls to voodoo dolls because it feels like. Sharp pins going in through your body, or there'll be, be heat. Just a minute, sweetie. There'll be heat um, on my legs or different areas of my body, um, and so forth. Um, they'll make it feel like, you know, something's hitting me across the head. I mean, it, they'll do stuff to me and my kids, different types of pains that are not natural or normal types of pains. Okay. Um, there are in certain locations, like on my upper thighs, you know, they use my grandfather's picture um, and so forth. And they're not natural pain. Okay. It's not natural pain. And they said they, this is part of their Simon Says game. Um, Mars chips, uh, Mars body shop, how they butcher shop people sideways with the Freemason. Um, apron with my grandfather owning Red's Meat Market in Escondido, California. And the list goes on and on and on, as I said. But, as I said, these people say they're invincible to their crimes by labeling me as a Freemason. Well, that's got to scare some people. Um, so, that's what I wanted to talk about right now. This is Kathy Chase.